and we back. Y'all see the title of the video, man. We got to figure out how to let go. Um, letting go, I feel like it's something that we're just, like, not taught. Like, society, I mean, we already know society isn't for us, but they teach us how to consume, 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 and not release or create, you know? And it's something that I've known for a while now, but these past few weeks or so is really becoming uh, more obvious to me how important it is to figure out how to let go and figure out how to release things because we all have to do it. But the way that we do it is different. You know, you have to figure out what works for you. Like, so I know for me, for example, uh, speaking helps me release things, uh, writing, when I make these videos, like I get a sense of uh, release and relief, you know, when I get my ideas out of here and onto something, you know what I'm saying? Um, another thing that I've been messing around with lately that helps me release is like screaming, like yelling and shit. I like doing that. <laughs> like that, that shit is fun. You know what I'm saying? And you got to figure out what gives you that sense of relief, man, because you need it. Because otherwise, it's just going to catch up to you later, and it's not going to be good. You know, it's 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 going to come out in the wrong way, or it might come out, uh, and it might be directed towards somebody that didn't do anything to you. You know what I'm saying? And and we don't need that. You know, it's, it's, it's that happens every day. You know, when people blowing up, people flipping out and stuff like that over situations. But realistically, it's not even the situation that ticked them off. They just got a bunch of bullshit going on in their brain and a bunch of emotions swimming around in their body. And it just happened to come out on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've all either seen that or we've all been there. One of the two. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it, it happens a lot. You know, it's happened to me before. You know, but me knowing what I know now and being in the space that I'm in right now and just understanding this and just being more mindful of it, being more aware of it, it's definitely helping me understand that we all got to figure that out for ourselves. You know, and if if like for me, I, I, I'm getting a better understanding of what it is for myself. So now, you know, well, not necessarily now, but, you know, eventually I'll be able to help other people figure out what might work for them. You know, because some people might benefit from the things that I'm doing right now. You know, the same ways that I get relief, you know, I'm willing to bet there's a good chunk of people that probably get a, will get a sense of relief, sense of relief from the same things that I do. You know what I'm saying? And. We, we just got to stop, you know, acting like shit don't bother us or, you know, we can't be sitting around acting like, you know, everybody don't like we don't have no trauma, nothing like that. Everybody has trauma. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is you don't need to operate out of it. You know, you don't need to operate through that. You know, don't don't play the victim. You know, this happened to me. So like, no, like acknowledge what happened and then move forward. Like we're not blaming nobody for what happened to us or nothing like that. It's just be proactive. You know what I'm saying? Don't. Don't don't play the victim in that woe is me mindset. And, and I, I can't stand that shit. You know, we don't need that. Take accountability for like, OK, this happened to me. But now moving forward, what am I going to do? You know, because that's what's the important thing. That's that's what's important is what you're going to do about what happened to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let it define you. It just happened. But um, that's just kind of where I've been at lately, like. We got to figure out the release. We got to figure out how to let go, you know, because when we let go of things, you grow in some way, shape or form. You you, you grow, you know, you can't. I don't really think that, that we're supposed to really hold on to anything in life. I feel like we have to understand that. Well, we have to get to a point where we see things for what they are and not what we want them to be. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a person. You know what I'm saying? This is a car. This is a phone. This is a jacket. Like, that's what it is first. That's what it is. And then you like it. You don't like it. Whatever. That's second. But at the end of the day, everything is what it is first. Like, you got to be able to recognize and understand that. Because otherwise, when you want to attach things to it, that's when things get difficult. And, you know, it. it it's like your, your emotions and shit get involved. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but it just, it, it can be blinding, you know, when we put too many labels and emotions and, and whatnot on top of things you know what i'm saying i feel like it's just better we just learn how to keep things sim simple and 
move through life in that way because I feel like when you can see things for what they actually are, it's like you actually see the value of it as opposed to seeing seeing it for what you want it to be or seeing what you like about it or seeing what you don't like about it. It's like you're robbing it when you put that label on it. But when it has none of that shit on there, it's like you see it for its true value because you're not putting any biases on it. And that was the sigh of relief. <laughs> Look how that worked out. But uh, yeah, man, I think that's all I got on this one. Figure out what's what, what figure out what helps you let go of things in life. Figure out what you need to let go of first and then figure out how to let go of them, man. And I promise your life is going to get better. It's, it's going to start getting better. Each time you, you, you put that into practice, it's going to get easier and easier. You're going to feel better and you're going to feel lighter. And then you you get closer to your authentic self, man. At least that's just, just that's just what I think, and that's just from my experience. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I got for y'all, man. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Y'all take it easy and uh, have a good one. Peace. <laughs>